Yo, what's poppin'? You already know, man. Cool, Y'all cool, might you? not like this pod, episode 002. Mike. Damn, it sounds so bad because- Here we go. 002. Stop saying that, bro. I'm, I just don't Stop like nothing about like, we ain't new to this. I think it's episode 71. So we ain't new to this. <laughs> Niggas ain't new to this. I don't think we should change the name. No, this is it would be, it would actually be like episode five, six, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, if you did this correctly. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, listen, the gang is in the it's building. Hot. My nigga JS1, the supplier, is here. Yeah. Stars is in the building. Whoa, whoa. Gio the Leo is here. My guy. Lante Base God is here. Ah. My nigga Taz is in the building. John. Hey, Taz. Say no. <laughs> what, what, what she call him? Ad libs crazy. B. I heard my no. ad. I thought it was like, so Dan Don't Rue. Listen to oh, Dan Rue. Taz, oh, aka crazy. Dan Rue, is in the building. What all people way slick Taz. <laughs> they all, don't know about. All the guys is in and the there building. There it is. And um, yesterday was my birthday. We celebrating. Woo! Clap it up for the old ass nigga in the room. Old ass nigga in the room. He's twenty one, people. Hey, let, let's, let me tell y'all something. This is this is what I what, it, what it hurt my feelings, right? So you know we've been doing this pod thing. I, I brought my guys on, but I was doing this pod thing for a little while. And everybody celebrated a birthday on set. Gio, no, you know everybody had that little birthday celebrated and shit. But mine, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't. But it's cool. It's cool. Oh, I ain't tripping. Who complains what on a Saturday birthday? No, no. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking about like far as me you missing my team. Podcast Sunday. on your birthday? No, I want. I miss my team. Like you know, because my team will give me little things that we we take for granted. My team will give me. Well, it was actually Shadé. She would make sure everybody had the fucking balloons and shit and the kick and shit for their birthdays and shit. Uh, and I didn't get that. I I was. I wanted underwhelming to come in, you. I wanted to come into the pie. And niggas had a cake. You know what I'm saying? And the balloons. You gotta so, give me. Hits, I was yo. in your spot. That was a big piece of steak sitting on that table that got all dried mm, up. I'm like, yeah. I that's mean, was that spinach. what happened? Like, spinach with the cheese in it. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I asked for, I asked for tequila, right? Nigga say, I'm gonna get you a bottle for your birthday. I asked for tequila, nigga got me whiskey or something. But I love you. That's though. crazy. <laughs> that's a fifty dollar bottle right here, we yo. And actually, that. we gonna matter of fact, since you said it, don't shit, we gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> what we gonna start doing is a. Uh, it's a black owned brand. It's a black owned brand. Okay, we doing this. Black owned company. Black owned company. The guy, the, his name is Uncle Ernest. Uncle he Ernest. was the guy that developed the flavor for Jack Daniels, but you know, obviously the white family snuffed Took him it. out of that. And Uncle Ernest died, but the family of Uncle Ernest still owns the land that he owned and they mm. developed this brand off okay. of that. So, so it's dope. a delicious black owned company. It's a whiskey, y'all. It's a whiskey. So Thank make sure you try We're going to start trying every, every. I want to do every week, trying new liquor. We'll tell you if it's good or not. I mean, maybe put in the comments, tag them when you see them. Yeah. Maybe give us some money. We just trying to get some money, y'all. It's really what it's all about. And you <laughs> over 30 now, so it's time to drink like a grown man, bro. Like, mm. you, we introduced that whiskey into your life. Whiskey you know is that? definitely a 30 year old drink. Right? Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, who, who, who? Yeah. Who's 30? I mean, no, nah, I'm 30. I'm Everybody. definitely 30. Oh, I'm like, Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. over here 30. Oh, so yeah, we trying to downplay it now? Yeah, like, no, 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 no. Now, I feel good to be 30 right now. You like, should. You're you wise. Should. Yeah, like, 30 I'm, means wise, bro. Trust yeah, me. 30 means wise. Like, the wise Way wise right now. Yo, wise. did it feel different though? Like when you woke up, that you was like, ah. Nah, but I definitely, it didn't feel different, but I, I think because I already was in that mindset maybe like months before. Like I was prepared. You feel me? I was like, I'm ready for this. It's weird. I never thought I would be. As excited, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, but I really was stepping in it too. At first, I thought I was like, I'm old man, but now I'm like, Hell you're no. grown man. You you're just grown, grown man. You make way you're better decisions. You're not old. Decisions. You just mm. grown. Man. Let me mm. tell you something. You at the age now where you can fuck the girl and the mother. He not lying. He not lying though. It's yeah, a, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's I, a plus. I, I, that's I ain't a trying to fuck yo. the girl and the moms though. I mean, I know, I know you want to keep it. You want to keep it clean, yo. What's up with this shit, bro? Hey, man. Look, man, I'm just giving you the odds of what's going why on at thirty. Why do I have to be a podcast with this guy, yo? Why are you turning to Jesus Christ? Bro, now? I'm not like, turning to Jesus nah, Christ. Yo, it's bro, so now, different. Now. Now. He looking crazy. It's I'm so Aluwabal out here, bro. Like, why you can't? Why? All right, why you can't fuck the moms and the daughter, bro? I ain't gonna. I mean. I, I, you young, you still got virility in your system, bro. You are, you yeah, strong, you at least appreciate the idea. Dude. I can like, appreciate the idea, and it's a fucking dope idea. That would be dope. That's all you had to say, nigga. That's what we said. Welcome to 30, motherfucker. There you go. Welcome to 30, my nigga. Hide your mamas. Hide your daughters. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey so y'all overheard you. I know we, we had some shit we said we, said we was going to talk about, but I overheard y'all talking about some shit. And, um, and uh, I was curious, bro. What 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 is the definition that we put on a, a real nigga? What's a real nigga? Um, question. That's a good question. I, I feel like now I feel like people are misconstrued on what it really means. I feel like real nigga mm. is a. Uh, it's a difference between a real nigga and a gangster. I feel like that's what you gotta understand. People confuse those two. Being a gangster is street man, like street vibe of it, like like street code being a real nigga in the streets. But being a real nigga, or I guess real man, as we can say it in any other words, it's just a little different vibe to me. I feel like it depends on. What you doing? Your, your, uh, what you doing for the, your family? Of course, right. taking care of things. How you treat your friends? How you treat others? I think it's important to treat others how you want to be treated. You know the cliches and shit like that. 
But um, a real man is somebody who's do a bunch of stand up shit, yo, and and, and you, you never got to worry about. You know what I mean? Um, I hope I, I'm looked at as a real ass nigga. I, I I like to run my life like you know what I mean. I'm somebody you can trust, somebody mm-hmm. you can fuck with, and somebody you ain't got to worry about doing no cruddy shit to. I think that was the most important part of you for me, like somebody you can trust. Yeah. I think being a real nigga or a real man or a stand-up guy is really on the side of being solid. Mm-hmm. Right? You can't really question, you don't have to question my actions, me taking accountability for my wrongs, if I ever, if I, if I ever wronged you. Accountability. You know what I'm like saying? Really. If I ever wronged you, I apologize for yeah. it. I, I manned up for it. You know what I'm saying? If you ever approached me or something, and, and, and it was that, I just accountability. Like I, you think, said. I think communication is big for a real nigga. Like a real nigga ain't going to let shit. I'll just sit. Like me, I'm not letting shit sit. Mm. Like if I got an issue, like like that situation where you called me and shit, that, that was that was you needed to know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I took it, like, like I'll give you the information. You feel me? And, and even though at, at that time you didn't know whether to believe or not, you knew mostly if the way I said it. I was like, yo, this is what it is, this is how it is. Anything else you want to ask? Mm. Cause it's like, I ain't I ain't holding back no shit, ain't no going around. Oh, no, no, cause I ain't no real niggas don't do all that extra mm. shit. It's straight, this what it is, this what I did. You know what I mean? You feel away, I apologize. You feel mm. me? It won't happen again. Type energy. I like that. How, yo, how did y'all even get into that conversation? Because I feel like I I came in on the tail end when y'all were talking about like people changing and shit like that, and and um y'all was just saying like how you can't really be successful coming from where we come from, I guess, mm-hmm. if you're not a real nigga. Like, well, people try to. Okay, so I feel like if you in the entertainment business, real niggas are applauded, but I don't necessarily feel like real niggas are always in position. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of niggas that play the role of ni- real niggas on camera, mm-hmm. but they ain't really real niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I ask. Like, what's the like the reason? And I, the reason why I say that is is because it's hard to be real and maneuver in a game with so many snake people or so many people that do kind of like shady shit. Mm-hmm. So like, you know what I mean? And I feel like shady niggas run with shady niggas because they feel like they can trust each other and that well we can both be shady or you're not gonna expose me because a real nigga expose you if you're doing some fact shit. You know what I mean? Or if you're doing some off the wall bullshit, they gonna be calling you out for it. They might step to you shit. Nigga might fucking go upside your head and shit. You I know? ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it definitely is some, some shit. Like you, you can you can peep it out now. Opt- uh, opportunists are just everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? People really show you whatever they want to see. Mm-hmm. I mean, whatever you want to see. And um, when they're done with you, or they feel no more value in you, you know, you get to see they the true them, or, or they expose you, or you see true you, or you know what I mean? They just all together just done with you. So you well, even on that, I just feel like you know. Like for me, I think a lot of these things could be misconstrued. And y'all know I'm always the the one that's on the line, right? Teetering them on the line. And I say to say, not that I'm teetering on the line of being a real nigga, but certain situations are different depending on who, who whose lens you're looking at. Right. Like think about it. Like let's say Jay Z, right? right? So we go back when Jay Z had his 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 um outbreak or his uh his his falling out with uh Dame Dash right. and um what Rock, Rockefeller, right? Yes, sir. Depending on who you ask. That was some shady shit, right? But on a on a on a flip side, it's like, yo, I feel like all great businessmen or people that's really really successful had to make some hard ass decisions that a lot of people wasn't gonna agree right. with. And you also, course. he's not gonna be the one to pillow talk about what's going on. So he might catch a whole lot of flack, but he's not gonna sit there and explain to you some shit that he feels like shouldn't be public business. Mm. So he'd rather take the heat and look kind of weird in a public space versus sitting there going, no, nah, no, nah, it was Dame that did. Or no, 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 because that's just not the type of person he is. He's going to be like, yo, I'm going to go and I'm going to show y'all that I'm the better person through my actions, not by my words. But you that's know why I, mean? I say like, it's so tough to like measure what a real nigga is because it's like, bro, like some again, you're going to have different sides of the the, the the, yeah. the plan field. I like. guess it's all about what you exact, like what do you see and who you surround yourself with and the definition of real nigga to you compared to the people that you're actually around. Mm. Mm. You know, go ahead. Since you said that, right? Mm-hmm. And I've been saying this uh, more recently than ever. I think, let me read, I'm gonna I'm 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 go back on what I said about a real nigga. I think one of the biggest things about being a real nigga is the consistency of your message. Mm. So whatever, how, how, however you say you are, the consistency of it. Not saying you ain't you can't make mistakes, because of course we, we're human, but the consistency of your message. Like we get up here, we talk about this, and now if, my, if my message was to change, granted it could change with growth, mm-hmm. right? But you know who somebody is, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I think a real, like a stand up person consistency And the consistency of the message with the actions. Mm, so yeah. it's not just about you consistently Definitely saying the same the thing, message, yeah. but your actions matching up with, with that. So like, say for instance, if Stars was to go around saying I'm the best rapper alive, but he keep dropping that fire, 
then it's just like, bro, like you can't argue that. You know mm. what I mean? Because the quality goes along with the shit talk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or if I'm, if you saying I'm an all around better creative than everybody else, but then every time you touch something, there's some fire shit. Mm. That's consistency. Same thing with you. If you saying, all right, I'm the best personality or the best podcaster. You know what I mean? As long as there's consistency in the actions, not just in the words, then like the discussion becomes different. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But let me flip off of that door because I kind of want to go back two seconds. Is that in the music industry or the entertainment industry, people like having leverage. So let's say, for instance, for you, if you the type of real nigga where you stand on your shit, you hold yourself accountable, you don't put yourself in crazy situations, how can somebody really have leverage on you? How can I really hold shit over your head, like, you know what I'm saying, and force you to do stuff you don't want to do? Because a real dude's not going to allow themselves to be put in awkward positions. You know what I mean? And I feel like in the entertainment industry, I think things that, that dudes that work behind the scenes love is having something over you so they can kind of push you in the direction they want you to go in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want you to do more of this. Be more of a gangster or be more of this or be more of that. Oh, uh, definitely. That- I went through that shit. That shit. It's terrible, man. Especially when you're trying to find your identity. And this doesn't go in music. You know, of course, I'm in music. But in general, in anything, you know what I mean? I feel like it takes a long time to really find yourself, especially in the career choice that you have. Right. You know what I mean, like, Jay, I mean, when you first started doing, in a, like you said, like, Raven put you on to even mm-hmm. do this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you probably wouldn't be sitting here if you didn't do interviews at first. Yeah, I didn't even want to do interviews. Like, I yeah. thought I was that nigga host, and I'm like, I want to be interviewed. I'm not interviewing yeah. nobody. But the same thing with me, like, I thought I'm that nigga in music. Like, I feel like nobody can, like you said, I'm very confident in my skill. But at the same time, it's like, all right, well, I got to find another way for people to see me and hear me. So let me try other things. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So then the director being open. I get open. And then I understand you're good in other things. Yo, I remember when I was coming up, I used to say something like, I hate it. (laughs) Boy, was I foolish. (laughs) I used to say something about like, I hate somebody that's a jack of all trades. Mm. I I used to really say, what was the saying you say? He was like, uh, good at, good at, uh, I would say great at 10 things, but massive nothing. Or yeah, so it's like, mm-hmm. bro, I used to always do that. And, but honestly, I mean, I still kind of simmer, feel that way a little bit, but at the end of the day, you got to be great at multiple things to be great at one thing, right? So like mm-hmm. me, I think you, it's, it's about finding your purpose and, and, your, and yeah, finding your purpose, right? So for me, I think it's like just creating things, right? Make, bringing things to life. So yeah, with underneath that umbrella is going to be being knowing how to work the camera. It's mm-hmm. going to be knowing how to work sound. It's yep. going to be knowing how to create a vibe in the room, right? So that that right there makes me good at multiple things, but for me, it's still under the one umbrella. But you also have other people that that, that might how to know how to set up the room and they can go to, I don't know, good at rapping. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I just feel like for me, I just would, for me, I just, I like it to be under that one umbrella, but it's but. so many people out here that's multifaceted. You feel me? Like, we can't really say that's a thing. I feel like that's what goes along with being a real nigga mm. to a certain extent mm-hmm. is you willing to recognize that, yo, I need to learn something or, hey, I need to be diverse mm. when I come to the table so that way I can be educated when I'm having conversations with other people. Mm. So if you bringing on other camera people, how can you really ask them to come and be that if you can't even have a conversation you, exactly. with them? Or you want to bring an audio person on and you can't have a conversation with them? That's Speaking a lot of, of cameraman, hey, Taz, can we fix that, please? I'm sorry. I know it's, it's, it's terrible, but that shit is cricket, and I'm sorry, bro. I probably, I'm like, that shit is doing something to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> a, bro, I have no, we got to bring that to the middle, I think. He did fix it. It just, I think it fell on his own. Okay, thank you, brother. I'm so, sorry. So, like, jump, no, so good. jumping back into the conversation. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to kind of jump the stars real yep, quick. Yep, exactly. I wanted to go there, too. Is, because I, I want to go individually. How have there ever been times when somebody kind of went against your code and then you had to step up and defend yourself? So, say for instance, was there ever a time musically when mm-hmm. you was in a studio, you're in your creative space, and they wanted you to create outside of that space? They wanted you to maybe create a character or something like that. Like, um, how do you deal with that? Like, how was it introduced and how did you respond to that? Man, I got my first deal when I was like 22, I think, mm-hmm. um, with Universal. Shout out my nigga Will, he, he locked up right now. He coming home soon, he got me my deal. We walked around New York for a deal when I had this album, Best Me Take Ever, and um, I had a song and it was a pop record. I was just trying something out. Went to the label with it and um, they loved it and they gave me a single deal or whatever. And when it, uh, long story short, it was a pop record, but it's not what I did, you know what I mean? I like up-tempo joints, fun joints, street joints, you feel me? I had a bunch of different visuals. But when it came to that, they just wanted me to keep making it. Mm. And it was like, I had to really put in my mind, like what's more important, the brand of who you are or you trying to get to a certain place. And then you always tell yourself, well, you could just do what they want. And then when you get where you want to be, then you can change. Like that's just easier said than done. Cause who says that 
anyone's going to take the fake you that you're showing to get so you can show the real you later. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, now looking back, I definitely would have just, you feel me, like played it differently. But this goes not even to music, but any job. It's like, I think it's really important. And I might be dating off a little bit, but it's really important for now in society for people to find out what they're good at and then do it. I think everyone needs to have multiple incomes. I think everybody needs to um, be very... Um, into something because life is very hard mm. and we're looking at society everybody doing so much and you will feel like really underwhelming as an individual if you don't do more than a nine to five and i was going to ask you that though right because mm -hmm. you you brought up something and and i thought because I, I didn't do that before right mm -hmm. somebody wanting you to do something other than yourself right or not even just somebody let's say you thinking that maybe i should do something that that's other than myself so i can get more attention get more money yeah. et cetera, et cetera, right where do we draw the line of your morals and your principles far as taking care of your family. Cause I feel mm. like a lot of times we put morals in and in, in, in respect and it be, being the principal in front of the things that really is important, right? Like now nah, I ain't gonna make a pop song because that ain't me. But this it's like is, bro, if I make a pop song, this could take care of my family. That this is the, that's a great conversation, but the better conversation is when is family and your, for lack of a better term, dream going to clash into a certain degree? Cause like you said, you wanna take to your family, but like, the bigger ticket for my family is me making it doing what I'm doing. And the sacrifice for that sometimes is the family. Mm -hmm. So it's like, where's the meeting? Because I got to sacrifice a little to get where I need to be so they be better. But if I'm here doing a family man, doing the family thing and making sure I'm 100% there and, and doing my other stuff, not as much putting the time in because other people putting time in on the things you love to do and be great at and want, want to be rich off of, people putting more time so, in. So I, it's like, you I, know what I mean? I think that's a different conversation. It though. is. You feel me? And I think like, damn, it's like- But you talking about actually taking care of your family. Yeah. You'll probably take care of your family more off of say the podcast blowing up because you're good at this thing, right? Right, right. More so than you working and being a manager at Cole's Warehouse. Right. You feel me? So, I, but, Which is a, probably a, a, a decent fucking, uh, you you can make it. Hey, you had that and do something else and do something else a little bit, make some money on the side. But like, fuck it. What if you just do what you let's love say, to do? Let's say, but you know let's keep I mean? it there. I, I love that, right? Mm -hmm. Let's keep it there. Let's say if let's not say Coles. I don't know. Let's say yeah, uh, I did well. Let's say, let's say I, I used to work at Coles. It'd be a humble, humble moment. I used to work at Coles. Let's say a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let's say a good job. Whatever a good job is. Now, yeah, whatever. Like, good let's job say is. I'm an engineer, right? Trust I'm making job. um Trust yeah. Let's say I'm making over six figures a year, right? Um, I got the money to take in my family, but I really love this podcast shit. I really, I really want to put my time into this and my effort into this and do this podcast shit, but I can't because I got to work. That's really where I'm going with it because it's like, yo, where do we look at it? Like, you know what? This is something I'm passionate about, at, but I got a family. I need to I need to know when to put this shit to the side and take care of my family. Like, how do we know that? Because we everybody got them, them, them hoop dreams. I feel like that's never, that's never the case. I feel like the life of an artist or a life, life of a creative, you're always struggling to balance the two. Mm. Even if there's income coming in, it's you got to make sure that the money is being balanced and making sure it's going to the right places. So I feel like it's learning how to balance the funds, but also give you give your creativity the attention it needs. So like even where Stars is at right now, he created a revenue stream so that his family could be taken care of, mm -hmm. but the revenue stream doesn't take away from what he does creatively. Mm -hmm. Same thing for you is like you created the revenue stream necessary so that you can maintain the family, but at the same time do what so you gotta do. So I'm gonna I'm a go super left and I, and I wanna do this because mm -hmm. I, I think it's important because me and Jay, and I'm sure of you too, Jay, have been in situations where this is very important. When is like, what's the right time for have, like is, can you have a family mm -hmm. and, a, and a creative? There we go. Can you be creative and have a family? There we go, I think. Let's you, talk about it because let's talk about honestly, it. I'm, I've struggled with about it. it. Oh, Jay, that was you great. struggled with it. That man. Great. That was great. Man. That was a great. Can you have a, a, a can you have a happy home mm, and be mm, a full-time mm. creator? Okay, so I'm gonna start from this place. Is it's all about your individual uh pain threshold. Mm -hmm. What can you what can <laughs> you deal with? You know what, what I'm saying? Tolerate? When I say pain, yeah, what Toleration. you what you can tolerate. Yeah. Can you tolerate the stresses of you know, your girl or your mate, excuse me, your mate coming at you with the needs, your children coming at you with the needs and still be able to give them what they mm. need and be able to still maneuver the way you got to maneuver. You need to understand what worlds you're you're dealing with. Because mm -hmm. if you in this world with the entertainment, being out and about is a necessity. It's not a something I can kind of do. No, you got to be gotta out. Be you got to network. I got to be outside. I'm, I got to put a certain amount of time in the creativity. I got to put a certain amount of time in the studio. Or it come down to this for me. I feel like it's all about your partner. I feel like mm. your partner is being where we are. Your partner has to 
sacrifice a bit of them for you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, as it, it sad as that is, it's like, you gotta, you gotta give a little more so I can kind of like get where I need to go. And it's kind of fucked up because they might have some things they want to do. So it all depends on what you do, what you're trying to do, and the understanding you have with your partner. And I don't mean, them understanding don't mean that they cool with it all the time because mm -hmm. us being out, us spending Sundays every day, like what, Sunday dinner, like what if you, when you're going to church, maybe spend time with your kids. I'm you gotta a, um, spend time up crazy. I'm gonna disagree mm -hmm. with you on that. On what? I'm gonna tell you, it, I don't think it's about your partner. I always think it's about yourself. I'm saying, I, I say that because at, at the core of everything is about you because we choose our partner. A lot of times we get into these relationships and a lot of times we start dealing with people and we ignore the signs. We talked about this last time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, nah, let's not, just like we got to know who we dealing with on, on, a, on the end and when it comes to financially and when it comes to uh, just how we talk and perspective mm -hmm. and things like that, we need to know who we dealing with when it comes to our business as well. So if we know we got this, this thing going as creators, right? The first couple signs that they give us saying that they don't like it, we need to deal with that right then and there, not put it off because, oh, you know what, like, listen, I'm gonna I'm 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 make it work, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we need to deal with that right then and there. And I but feel like a lot of times not, we don't. What if it's not that? What if they just maybe not as, what if they, they say, yeah, no, do your thing, but they, maybe not, they're not as supportive as then you might want them to be. don't like it, you deal with it right then and there. Or the flip side of it is that they might be excited about supporting you, but they don't know what comes along with the game. Mm, and that's mm. true. And, and a lot of times it's easy to say, it's that's cool, it. I ain't, yeah. I'm never jealous. I'm about yeah. the jealous type. That girl and in the then DM. you get flooded See, with the DMs, the, flooded, listen, you out in public crazy. and in your face. You know what I'm saying? It's Definitely one thing go down to in the DM. It's one thing to think about it in your head, but deal, dealing with it in reality is different. Now, it does come down to you being able to kind of like help that, help you try to cushion the blow, but it is about the mate being able to really internalize what you do and find their way to understanding and helping. They have to understand. They have to you understand. Know, think about it. Think about it. I'm going to say this because you in this field, yeah. hosting, right? Yeah. You and, and, uh, having a family yeah. vibe. It's How can you promote yourself Really, you like you being a single man promoting yourself as a host, and you being a nigga with a girl promote yourself your host. Man, mm -hmm. them stories look different. I think no. Facts. So I think them no, no. stories look different. And, you wouldn't and, have no facts. close friends. Imagine not having no close friends, just living your life. And not, even in a podcast I say, space, I don't know why you leaving that out. Cause y'all see the comments, they be like, "Uh, oh, Jay." Oh no, they definitely yeah. like, like, they like the way you talk. Yeah. Nah, so what I was gonna say is, not honestly, I feel like to keep it a hundred, bro. I feel like you know, um, it goes both sides because you know I was in a situation before where I felt like. Shorty was a model and like niggas don't need to know that she had a had a boyfriend because again, I'm gonna keep it on it. Like we know, like it takes away from yeah. your, your power. You know what I'm saying? I and even, I, I and I'm like, yo, I want you to have that power. And, and as long as you have an understanding between the both, either side, right? Man or woman, right? As long as I understand, yo, you know what? This is what you need to do for your career. I respect it as long as you can respect me. Let's have that conversation. For example, um, y'all know LaDon Black from Baltimore, <laughs> famous radio station personality, right? I remember, I'll never forget this ever. I'm, 30 years old now, bro, this is in high school. She said, uh, I never forget, she said her, her husband didn't listen to her radio segment mm. at night because the way she spoke, it just wasn't for him. You know what I'm saying? But he understood that this is what she does. This is her career. So I'm gonna give you that respect to not even listen. And I thought about it, I'm like, yo, we need to do that with a lot of things, you feel me? Because a lot of things are triggering. Like you said, it's easier to accept it until you see it, right? So let's take ourselves out of that. Let's let's take, what is the real red, red pill? And not mm -hmm. ignorance per se, but just, just tolerance because I, I know where easy, I'm at. But you got to understand in that story, you're LaDon Black, not the husband. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, once again, your mate has to become mature understand. enough Take a piece to them. recognize, mm -hmm. yo, and I can't handle you. this tone or I can't mm -hmm. handle this that person that they're showing me. So let me draw back. And, 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 and so yeah, that way I don't get resonated. And also, yeah, she said that to you, but you don't really know how he feels. Mm -hmm. You really don't know how he's taking this, not watching it. Really? How he's taking this. You know, basically taking a back seat, letting this woman do something that she probably did maybe beforehand or, or, or mm. and she grow it. Another thing of this whole thing is most of us get better at what we do during a relationship. So, yeah, it's easy for her to be cool with, oh, yeah, you're doing a little power thing. Okay, you mean got a little 100, 200 people watching. Yay, celebration, 200 views. And then it's now it's 10, 20, we on Shade Room and shit. And like your DM on fire. And like, you, you got women just saying, like, who the fuck are you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I can fuck you better. Or you know what I mean? Any wild thing you say, yeah, now they like, going in a DM. But, so but they know cool. what your man doing that. Is he it's saying just, this? You cool? Yeah. That's why I say your partner got to be comfortable, understand the, the business you in and trust you. Mm -hmm. Because niggas going to lie every day. But you know what's mm -hmm. crazy? Like, even adding to that, right? Like, not, it's not really a, 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 a response of why or anything like that. But you know, we want, we, it's like we want to to have that perfect balance, right? But at the same time, it's like when you ask the question, the first thing I wanted to say is, yo, I don't think anybody that's trying to be great needs to be in a relationship. 
I, I also the, believe at the, that. At the Wait same time, though, I'm hold sorry. Up. Hold up, hold up. Let me, finish, let me finish. Let me finish. All right. At the same time, though, you feel me? As much as I believe that, the same me believe that I don't want to be, I don't want to get to a point where I'm big and I made it and I don't have somebody with me that, that struggle with That's me. That's real or, shit. You feel or me? you can trust because now you already made it to a place right. where you are the catch. More so when you have a relationship and you're growing with them, like she deserves you because she was through the mud. But you know you. what, you know what, go, but it's crazy because like, yo, it's like, yo, nah, I, I want to tell creatives, you don't need a relationship, focus on your business. But it's like, bro, no, everybody, bro, it's like, everybody wants somebody that they know was there for them from the beginning that got their back genuinely, right? But at the same time, you know what, you know what also comes with somebody that's been there from day one? Entitlement. Mm. And that's another thing. Mm. So like now we didn't we didn't because I've been there since day one. Right, we we didn't been through the mud. And now I expect you should. I have a sense of entitlement that that you owe me something, right? That you gotta do this for me. You gotta do that for me because I've correct. been there. And it's like damn, it's like you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. What the fuck? But aren't they, I mean, aren't they? Oh, now it depends. Now mind you, it all depends on what we're talking about. I feel like but anything. I feel like if somebody's been there supporting you since day one, and then you. You, they supported you through the process. Are they not entitled to something? What if things change through this, this journey? What if, what if y'all not see eye to eye? Not even that. What are they entitled off? to, though? I don't know. So well, let's go to the... I'm, I, it, it, to me, it all depends upon what that person is contributing to your let's life. Go back, let's go to the Joe Button thing, right? Right, right. The only thing that I, I would agree with, like, I, don't, I didn't agree with Joe on this, but the only thing I would agree with, with is the only thing you're supposed to be entitled to is respect. If you're in my space, you can be entitled to respect because mm -hmm. that's the one thing that I owe you if you're going to be in my space, right? I think I can say that. But if we sign a contract and in that contract, I am entitled to A, B, C, X, Y, and Z percentage yeah. and you can, whatever's yeah. due to me. Yeah, see, I'm just talking about, I'm I'm just talking about relationship. Dude. We're talking about marriage right now, right? I guess. We're talking about oh. just basically trusting somebody. you said somebody contract. You, oh, I'm, so marriage is still a contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that should be an arrangement no, between about, us of what I'm doing. relationships. I'm saying in a relationship. We've been in a long time relationship and we're not married. You can expect some things, I guess, but that comes, it just, is it like, it, like let's say if I get a deal, a million dollars, right? Right. You think I should do X, Y, and Z. At the end of the day, I work for that deal, right? Mm -hmm. You were with me, supporting me, and yeah, as a good person, I'm gonna look out for you because you've been supporting me, but you can't expect anything from what I got from my work. Just like when you go to work and you get your check, the only thing that I expect at, at, at moments are we, Divvy down these bills. How we supposed to divvy down these bills? That's the only thing because that's our agreement. Anything outside well, of that, I don't really expect nothing. But, but we are human, and I can't lie. I'm not about to sit up here in front. We are human. It, it do be other expectations when you're in a relationship like that. You expect, like you might expect them. I mean, if you got some extra bread, and I don't, to look out, right? I, I feel guess, like I, can say that. I agree I, I can, with you I'm on not, that. You know what I'm I, I feel like discussions should be had ahead of time. So before the bread come in, let's just say, for instance, I'm I'm with my girl and I'm laying in bed, we talk. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to have a discussion with her. Like, yo, if I get this, and this is me being really anal and I really do this in real life. Yo, if I get X millions of dollars, this is what I'm doing with my bread. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had this discussion before. Like, yo, if I get a million dollars, I'm taking X amount of dollars to buy a house. I'm taking X amount of dollars to get this type of vehicle. You will get X type of vehicle within this amount of money. Or you know what I mean? I'll give you thirty thousand to get this. Like I'm gonna have a discussion with you, so that way when the shit do hit the fan, you're not coming we at me like, yo, I want a fan of my nigga. Like you, you speaking from a mature standpoint. But not, I ain't gonna lie. I, I've had that. I, I've actually had that conversation on the Gemini Scorpio podcast. We was talking, and I was like, yo, I think when it comes to prenups, I think they are very important because for me, you know, it's just all about the person you are, right? Like I know where I lack. I know I lack in balance. I lack in so many other things that I need my partner to bring to the table. And if you are bringing those things to the table, like you said, we get better in relationships. That's making me better. And yeah. you definitely deserve a percentage. If I'm going to pay a manager a percentage, but, I definitely think my that's woman the biggest, who's giving me, that's making me comfortable percent. so I can do what I'm doing, yeah. deserve something. But that's, but that's what that's what it all comes back down to is your partner choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and exactly like, you know, what... They are bringing to the table, and why I say you have to have a, they got to bring a little bit of them to use because you're creative, you're an entrepreneur, you're trying to do this on your own, and, and you need an extra push, and really you need a cheerleader. Mm. It is so important in relationships to have somebody who genuinely thinks you can do it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because right. when we are down and we're feeling like something's wrong, she the one that's gonna wake you up. No, you got the party. That's today. super yep. important. Like, no, no, you, you eat breakfast. Come on, no, no, come on, get it. I don't want to see you. No, you took an L. Now come on, no, no, real shit. Like. But I want to be real because, you know what I mean, we all been through these relationships and it's like, I think, I've been in these situations like, yo, 
you got to sometimes like you got to be a little louder. Be a little louder and let me know they that because no one else is going to be loud Nobody. for me. And you know, it's crazy, bro. On the flip side of that, we we joke, we clown Eric about saying this, right? E. Ross, but it's real like, and, and, and you know, it's it's bad because when we talk about men, these is these are the things that we expect. And, and, and it is wrong a little bit, but I can't ignore this is what we want. When we talk about cooperation, right? Mm -hmm. Like as an entrepreneur, just, just like I need a cheerleader, sometimes I might need you to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, and I'm gonna just say it like that. It is what it is. Like sometimes I'm gonna need my woman to just tone it down for a second. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because again, I'm dealing with everybody in the world who, who don't owe me shit, who ain't gonna tone it down, mm -hmm. who ain't gonna tone it down. They wanna, they they want, they got points to prove. They wanna show that, that Jay ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I come in the house, sometimes I might need you to just tone it down, even if you were right. I'm not saying that I, I don't have to watch my approach. Yeah, I do, I should. And then that's a mutual thing, but sometimes if I'm frustrated, right? Like I need my partner to be the one that can tone it down. That's gonna make me think like, you know what, bro? She toning it down, let me bring myself down. Mm -hmm. And I think we gotta be that for our partners as well. Like for our women as well, it's just as much as we asking for it's it. What, it's what women call being the peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, being a, her being able to hold the argument off to another day, mm. that's a part of being somebody's peace. Now, now, like, now is this fair? Yeah. Now, and no, it's the it, same now, thing for no, you. No, no, like, no. Now is this fair? I think it's fair because what again, I'm saying is it, it has I mean, to go both for, ways. Because you, girl, women are gonna be watching this, and they, it, it sounds that's like we're needy as fuck. It exactly. sounds like creators are needy as fuck, which we are. But mm, we are though. We are needy well, as fuck. Women, we women, whoa, 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 We are needy as fuck. I, it's equal on both sides because what you give in return is equally as great. So, like, say what you might give that person in encouragement, support, what you might do for them. You know what I mean? I'm not asking for something I'm not willing to give. So say if I had a long day, like you said, the whole world was attacking me and I'm saying, babe, yo, not to, can we not have this this particular argument or, or are discussion you saying tonight? it like that though? Oh, that's not, major, I, that's th super that's, important. Well, I'm, I'm the, that's the, how I communicate. So, 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 but on the flip side, I'm willing, if my girl say, yo, babe, yo, I know I was right. Or I didn't cook tonight or I didn't, look, I know I didn't clean the kitchen. Yo, please don't be in my face. Is my she nigga. saying it like that? <laughs> that's, and that's you know the thing. A lot of times. Can you just chill for a second so, because I had a bad day? she's saying anything. So, so let's, so let's, <laughs> right, is she saying, is she saying let's, let's, let's paint, uh, not to say, yo, it's not realistic, but I want to say a more realistic picture because a lot of times when it get to the point of saying something, it ain't like that. So what I will say is, I think, and this might sound a little shallow, but it's fair if it works out. But you gotta have faith that it's gonna work out. And what I mean by that is, when I say um, work, say working out, listen, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so yeah. if I'm if I'm a creative, right? We need your shit. I need you to believe in my dream. Mm -hmm. I need you to understand that, and this might not be 100 percent of the time. Let's not get it fucked up. I'm not stupid. I'm not foolish. Let's say I want you to most of the times. If I'm frustrated, I'm upset at my my work. And I come home and I'm frustrated, be my peace, right? Don't, don't feed into my anger with your anger, right? Don't, don't, don't respond in this way. But on the flip side, if my work becomes successful, you reap all the benefits. Now, if my work don't come, become successful, you don't reap the benefits because I can't even take care of you, right? That's why I say it's, it, it works if it's, fi it's fair if it works. That's my opinion because I- This I, entire thought process is only- Okay, if it works, yeah. <laughs> like this entire if it doesn't work, we're, sh works. we're shit people. Because now it's like you you swallowed your pride on endless nights. Mm -hmm. You 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 was quiet when you didn't want to, mm -hmm. and now we stuck. Still ain't doing shit. Ten years later, yeah. Okay, so this is where I disagree. Is that I feel like as a, that this is where the difficulty comes in for me reconciling. As a man, I have to provide. This is how I feel. Mm. I have to be able to provide regardless. something, yeah, yeah. regardless of Period. whether we made it over the mountain or we still going up the mountain. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do what I can to make sure that a certain level of comfort is provided. It may not be the premium, you know what I mean, expensive couches and expensive cars, but there will be a vehicle to drive. You got a roof to live under. Food will be in your belly. You're not starving. We comfortable. Yes, maybe one trip a year, not six. And it may not be might, the Costa Rica. Not, might not be enough, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it might not be enough. I'm going to provide a, a, a level of, you know, you're going to live cool, oh, yeah. comfort. So that way you understand that I'm a man and there's respect that needs to be shown. Right. So that when we have communication and discussion, ain't going to be none of that, you know, eh, So you're like, saying the fairness comes in, you being a provider, she being your piece. Correct. Right? Guess what, though? In today's society, right? What if she's bringing half to the plate? It's That's like good. you're bringing. She to should the do that anyway. Right? No, nah, no, nah, she should. But now you. But that now doesn't we, change our discussion. But, but it does because, How does that because listen, you said you said, as me being a provider, uh -huh. I'm gonna be a provider. You bring peace. Uh -huh. Right now, 
if me being a provider is providing equally to what you're providing, mm-hmm. now you gotta be she now she has to be half 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 of a provider and bring you peace. So the only thing you bring in is just being half. Her of a provider. bringing understanding should not be predicated on finance. What I'm saying, her bringing her being understanding and us having an arrangement should be based upon the fact that hey, I'm doing what I can for us. You doing what you can for us, but as a couple, we should respect each other enough to when if you asking for space, I can give it because we love each other. In a case, I'm saying in a case of see, I'm not talking about asking for space because that's a great way to do it. But again, I don't think your everyday arguments or disagreements goes like, hey, babe, you know, I'm just I'm just going. I had a long day. Give me some time. It, it might come in with like, yo, what's up, bro? Like I'm tired of shit. You for me? And what what I'm asking for honestly is in those moments don't match my energy. You get what I'm saying? Meet me somewhere else that I need to be met at because at that moment I'm frustrated and I don't mean to take it out on so you. So what you have to do is you have to find somebody that their natural inclination is to diffuse you mm. versus ignite you. So like, it's, and that's hard. You, it's, it's, it's hard to find somebody that's that- the quiet, That's the quiet born girl. Yeah, yeah, And it's yeah. like, all right, so you want, these are the things that you require to be a happy creator, right? But guess what? But, but guess what? Flip want, side, on the flip side, you, <laughs> you want to have fun, chick, right? Who stay in the house, who don't mm. get pretty, who don't get fancy. That's not always no, true, I'm, though. That's not always and, true. And sometimes you can bring, you can bring elements out of a, of, a, of a character. So like, say for instance, she might be the quiet, introverted type, but that doesn't mean you can't go take her and find something nice to wear and-, and, and But she might not like that, though. So now you want me to create my woman and right. create my job. Now well, I change, have change. Hold up, stars. Women do that to men all the time. I mean, but yeah, but guess it, what? They're doing it, right. it on their own, on their own measure. And ain't no nigga been like, change my life, bitch. No, it's been <laughs> her wanting to do that for the man. Right, and she'll so do it, she'll do that it to is, you unconsciously. So that becomes, now, that's like, I ain't a victim. I mean, it's a, you're a volunteer, this is a volunteer. I didn't ask you to do this. So like, at the end of the day, it's like, I just want you to realize like, well, first of all, ladies, if you're watching this, obviously being with creative is a stupid fucking idea if you look at it to me. Hey, hey, nah, hey, 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 buddy. I'm with you. No, I'm not no, I'm with, with you. you. No, shut the fuck up. This is what I, I want to say. Listen, no, 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 no. no I disagree. I completely disagree. Y'all, of course y'all, you do. Y'all I mean, I mean, you, hey. being a creative, being with a creative is one of the greatest things you can ever Hell do. Hell no. It's if a great you adjust public service. Hey, if, creator's listen, life. all the ladies right now, yeah. if you're with a creative, I commend you. Yes. Because it's not easy. It's uh, not easy. On top of being with somebody else in general is hard. But there's a benefit. Then on top of being What's the benefit? What is it? Uncertainty? You're trying to tell me there's no benefit to being with one of you motherfuckers? Nah, it's a it's a benefit y'all to cool being niggas, with me. Y'all come out fly. That's our personality. I'm, I'm talking, that's yeah. like, yeah. that's point right. it's right. out. That's exactly, it's out. It's out. It's okay. all right, we're we choosing. Are. It don't have shit to do with what we're doing. Yeah. Exactly. That's not, that's not. But that's you not trying to tell me it's not worth it though? Your personality, if it works, the way you are. I'm sure it's a I'm really nice right nigga. Now. It's a really no, no, no. nice nigga at McDonald's right now. Let's talk right now. You trying to tell me hanging out with stars ain't the shit. That's me as a person. It's not me as a, as a partner. Me as a partner is definitely me as a person. Well, well, well. Because, well, well. because you're but trying it's, to. It's a package deal. I don't get one without the other. No, no, no. Hold on. So sorry. So, so sorry. Let's say it like this, right? I'm around. You got a girl, right? Mm-hmm. Depending on what she like, yeah, she gets to be around other artists, celebrities. Mm-hmm. She gets to VIP section. You get what I'm saying? So like, bottle so that service. Is, I, that is that is a, a pro, depending on who you with. You're yeah. funny, but again, you're affable. But, you're entertaining. But again, with you that know comes, how to carry yourself. she's in the club with rappers, hosting, bottle popping, and shit. Now you got all right. So so you don't want the boring girl. Cool. You want the girl who out there who can hustle. But with can you, you handle? Who can that? hand out the CDs with you? Who can be like, yeah, yeah, my boyfriend, he do this. I mean, he could connect with you. With that comes, but now you got a woman who's now in the same field you are. Now let's be real, creative. Most niggas can't. Most niggas can't handle a girl in the same field, they especially. And that's why see how these niggas nah, keep nah, switching and that. Nah, you know, I can't one, have a shit. The best, you probably be the best one for my life out here, this motherfucker. One minute you saying you bad to be with, the next minute you saying it's the shit. Come on, bro. What? Look, is it? Are you is. Dating stars worth it? You you making it seem like dating stars nah. is not dating worth it. Stars, right now. It's not dating stars. It's dating stars and dating stars the creative. Dating stars the dream. Dating stars this guy who's still chasing to a higher point because I have no ceiling and I want the best yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. For me, so I can be better You're than other to people. Tell me that's, that's, not, that's not a cool. That's not a cool. Bet. The journey might not be cool. Yeah, it's no, not it even might cool not. for me. It might honest, not be a cool journey. So like, I'm what's beyond uncool? It. What's uncool about it? What? It has ups and downs. Are you serious? I'm I mean, moody as fuck. Like he said, the uncertainty. Yeah. The fucking like, bro. I don't know. Certainty what, about what? Bro, niggas. Sometimes niggas. The don't money, know what, bro. Niggas, Thank you, Taz. Niggas, the like, money. I was about to say that. Sometimes you don't know how to. But the, bills, the bills get paid bro, eventually, right? The bills get paid, but you still gotta take care of your woman. You still bro. gotta make your kids happy. You still gotta make sure that you do trips. Aren't you, like aren't you think one trip a year with a woman? Are your kids not happy? 
Huh? Your kids is happy. No, kids, sometimes. Sometimes, what are sometimes you, bro, you're time bugging. Is gone. But that's every time family. you spend with your kids, bro. your woman, and your job. Your job is bro, a creative. You're wilding, bro. It's more than fifty percent. I'm of your not time. wilding. Are, I feel like I feel like you guys put too un, too much undue pressure on yourselves to try to create an existence that is that is way outside of how normal people what? live. Us normal people live normal lives, guess bro. What? Creators we don't are not always normal. Not normal bro. Listen, creators trip. are not normal people. Hit me out, with, bro. Hit me out. I'm listening, bro. Think about it like this, bro. As a creative, right? Let's say starting from the bottom. I ain't talking about where we at now. That's what I'm saying. Starting from the bottom, my nigga, I'm going to need a job because I got to take him out my, my bills regardless. That's yeah? a fact. Now I got to put extra time into my creativity mm -hmm. so I can so I can build that up, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about starting at fucking Kanye West. I'm talking about, I, I ain't talking about ending that Kanye West. I'm talking about starting at Kanye mm -hmm. West, right? So if, if I got to put the time into my work, right? We say normal people. We say mm -hmm. normal people. Normal people, nine to five, come home, spend a day with my family. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Sleep, wake up, a, do it again. A creative, I'm going to do my nine to five because I got to pay my bills. And then I'm gonna do my creativity, and I still gotta spend time with my family. I gotta spend time with my girl. Hold up, hold up. I gotta spend time. I gotta sp nine to five. Spend time in my work, right? Mm -hmm. Spend time with my girl because she wants the girlfriend, boyfriend, man, mm -hmm. husband. I mean, husband needs. and wife thing, right? And she then guess needs. what? Now I need. I still gotta spend time with my fucking kid, mm -hmm. right? So when you say all this normal shit, ain't shit normal about being a creative, bro. Ain't shit normal about it. So when we say shout out, like dating a creative is dumb, it ain't saying that like. We ain't shit, or we or we, we 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 lack respect for ourselves. Nah, we the shit because we the shit. Period. Yeah. Point blank. Mm -hmm. Period. But if you choose to fuck with a nigga like this, you a strong motherfucker because this comes with a hell of a lot. It ain't cool. So that's why I say I commend all the women that mm -hmm. that, that that date creators. Because Let's clap it up for women who date creators real quick, y'all. All right. But then, like you said, you gotta really understand, and I, and I understand you saying like, like you know, normal people, normal people. It's really important that you ain't understand. Shit about this, this ain't normal. <laughs> like, this is not a normal life. I Running ain't. around like like my, my day to day is crazy. I've been like, living music, this lifestyle writing, for twenty years. Going to but directing, I, I, like, I will never say that being with me ain't the coolest shit you ever do. Yeah, it's gonna be a little rugged. Yeah, it's a little it's a little hard from time to time. But at the same time, because I care so much. Like I make sure that I, when I am with my girl, I put that extra in. I know when I go out with my nieces and nephews or whatever, I give them. And you know what the crazy thing is? My nieces and nephews, I'm the cool uncle because I got albums, I got podcasts. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking that I'm not doing enough, but you'd be surprised how much they admire me because I end up becoming a model for what they want to be. Yeah, you forgot, bro. Let me, and I, let me take it back for a little bit, bro. Is that I'm older? Nah. You gonna do that to me nah, again? Nah, bro. Do you do you remember? Old it's nigga not, status. Not even, I feel like we can all agree to this, bro. My mom's get on my fucking nerves, bro. I got a But mom. to my friends, she dope as shit. Mm. So what I'm saying is, when you say my my, my you, you the cool uncle, that's because you ain't around, bro. Like you're not around them all the time. You they come only, see only you for first. fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, when you a parent, bro, I'm I'm pretty sure Amaya friends probably think I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? They see me in shade room, all this bullshit with rappers and shit like that. But Amaya, let me pull up to a party. She don't want me to get out and, mm. and come. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I get what you're trying to say, bro. But when you're living in it, it's a different experience, bro. Mm. Like you see your, your, nie your nieces and nephews every once in a while and they see the fun part of you. Mm. Yeah. Your, your child got to see the, the angry, aggressive part of you, the, the, the strict, the, you know what I'm saying? Blame. Irritated and now you in my face type. Like, bro, it, it's like, bro, you, that's it, what I'm saying, bro. Up. Like when you said that shit, it, it hit home. Cause it's like, bro. This shit is hard. And it, I mean, and, I just, I mean, I, I honestly, I've, it's I've hard for me. So imagine, I just, I just feel bad because well the way y'all was pitching earlier was no. just like, don't fuck right, with maybe, us. It's no, horrible no, over not, here. Don't fuck with us. And I'm just, just like, like, what? Nah. I'm saying this whole moment is. I hope Jay understands this also. It's, it's to, it's to educate women who are interested in men like us. Mm. It comes with a lot. It's mm -hmm. a lot of endurance. It's a lot of patience. And we don't and promote a, it. <laughs> we don't and we're creative. Like, <laughs> we're creative. And if you want to deal with me, I need you to understand that's what comes with me. So you are on board and understand the ticket you bought because this flight don't got no comeback. You feel me? When you mm. ride with me, you gonna ride with me. Mm. You feel me? I don't want to deal with nobody else who don't understand this shit. I'm like you said, we at third. This is a thirty room right now. Facts. You feel mm. me? So we ain't got no time to I really got no try time to be trying to get to know so nobody cute. else. He said they in the thirty room. Look at nah, time, nah, bro. bro. Stick your chest out, stop. Bro, you need another room. You need another room. No doubt. <laughs> hey, go ahead with your bitch ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, so like for real, hey, bro. Yo, because, the door real quick. Yeah, yeah. Yo, but, and, 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 and you know what else we don't got time for? We don't got time for like, you not uncertainty, right? Like okay. we, we already got enough uncertainty, right? So when you say, you said something early about fact. like, like yeah, that's a fact. I wasn't like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I ain't got time for you not to know. So we letting you know right now. <laughs> yeah. Listen, don't fuck with a creative, period. If, if you're not and, really and if you're gonna do it, bit. And if you're gonna do it, don't come back on the back end saying, 
I didn't listen. It, it ain't. I'm telling you, you ain't bro, a victim. You a volunteer, and bro. That's, that's, that's a about fact, that. bro. I now, are you that. in the beginning when you do date somebody? I mean, you you didn't do this, but I mean, now for you, uh, do you have that type of conversation? When, when you know when you I first mean, now, if, if you, well, I mean, if if I was to try to indulge in anything now, like you, you gotta understand I'm busy as shit. I think even the initial meeting and getting up with somebody and and trying to take time to even really get to know somebody right now, it's gonna take time on my day. Right. So that's gonna be a it's conversation take money regardless. Out of my pocket. Yeah, like and you need to, and I need to feel appreciated for it. I'm I'm sorry, like I'm a man of pride and I need to feel it. Like yo, I need to feel appreciated. Like yo, you have no idea what it takes to go out on a date with you. I get for you is regular, but for me is nowhere near regular. Mm -hmm. I'm taking time taking out of my time fucking and, and day, and bro. Entrepreneurial money. Bro, out of money my that day, you don't, like you, you might know, yeah. To take you out, I get in the world of scammers and all that, yeah, I get it, it's but I ain't though. one of them. Mm -mm. And I'm trying to tell you, I need my shit to be appreciated. I need to be appreciated tenfold. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, I don't mean to come off arrogant, but it's like, bro, I need you to un oh my God. We we like I need shit. you to understand that, that shit. I feel dude. like that's nothing arrogant about that. It's just establishing who you are, the level that you at, and having people respect that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with and, that. But that's why I said it, it all comes back to this. You feel me? It's worth it if it if it works out. No. Because if it works out, you won't get all that. Yeah, every, everything works. Every, you know what I'm you get, roll of the dice for real. You can get all that. You you can get more time because we put my money into mm -hmm. other like people. I don't have to go out and do that no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my, my money behind it so somebody else can do it so I can spend some time with you. You feel me? But mm -hmm. if it don't work out, it's like, sheesh. Y'all seen the acrimony, right? The movie, the movie. No, mm -hmm. you never did. No, scary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> scary. Because he was working his ass off, short and, and, and respectfully so. You know, Shorty was um. She was tired, bro. She did a lot for this man. She put up money. He was just still like he was building like some type of machine to do something, right? Mm -hmm. And it just wasn't working, bro. And she like, yo, at the end of the day, I need, I got my needs too. But he like, man, I can't meet him. You feel me? And eventually he moved on. But when he moved on, that's when he made it. And the shorty reaped all the benefits of it. And that shit real. And I think that's the number. One. Let's let's be real. And he came back and dropped all like the middle. ladies right now. But, that's but why ladies who stay with creative. That though. she decided to. I mean, nah, well, we she can't, didn't want to come. Nah, we can't do that, that's bro. Bro, you gotta right, understand. Here we bro. go. Here we go. Jesus not, Christ, bro, back I'm in the not, building. Bro, that's real shit. No, like, bro, bro, ladies got yo. We can't, bro. We can listen, man. We. I know it hurt, but we can't sit up here and do that, bro. Cause, cause everybody. I got guess their I'm knees. the only person drinking this whiskey today. All right. Now nah, we up? all. We, Shout right, out. We only okay, had one you ready? cup. You ready? Yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. All right. That's one. Birthday was yesterday. Birthday boy. Thank you, thank birthday you. boy. Damn. But now nah, when, I, when I, I say I say to the say, bro, you gotta understand, like women got their knees too, and like sometimes, a lot of times, we're not gonna meet them. So if they wanna, if nigga. if they, if they wanna if they wanna move on, they gotta move on. Right, right. So we can't say that's not. We can't say that. Not. I didn't say it's not. I mean, she can do whatever she want to do, but you can't be mad. That's, when, what, that's what I'm saying. When they, when he hit the when he hit the lotto, but bro, no. But bro. you got we got to have some, we got we got we got to have some sympathy for the situation. Yeah, hurt, bro. It's a, it's a normal. I family, gotta have bro. sympathy. I have to have sympathy. So for she somebody went you five that, years and, and rubbing your back, make sure everything going through, busting bro, your ass. Wait, all I want to do is give me a hand job, and you kept bro. saying no, bro. I'm leaving no, after no, a while. No, 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 no. What about all no. you wanted was a hand job? She kept giving you hand jobs, and then when she was tired of giving you hand jobs, you needed to move on because to you, that's all you needed, and you got it ten times, ten times, ten times, right? And then the, the couple four times you didn't get it, you got tired and you left. Okay, that's different. How's that I different? can stay long. It's ten times for me. Like I, everybody has a threshold, a line. When we, because hand jobs is the least you can do. So like you really could have gave me some head and jumped on my dick and gave me some pussy, but you, but you just asked for hand jobs. That's what that's I'm saying. Fair. I'm saying the least of, but then when, but when you couldn't you give me that. the least, yo, that's where marriages and relationships come into, nigga. There are levels that I'm going to let you slump to if you going through some shit. Yo, but there's a point where it's like, bro, you've already been at the bottom rung this long. So bro, this I'm not on I don't no, want my life to be on the bottom Listen what I'm telling you. I'm not on no sim shit. What I mean is, bro, we can say that for creatives. We ain't about to do that to the ladies. You feel me? Uh, yo, bro, at the end of the day, if, okay, if, if I'm not, I'm not us, going along with this shit. No, I'm not going along with this shit. I didn't even shit. say anything. If you're talking not going about along a marriage, what did you're I say? talking about what a did I say, union between two people. But what did I say? I ain't talking about, I'm not talking about creatives. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about real life We talking shit. about creatives, bro. Exactly. That's all we've been talking That's about. That's what I'm saying. If, you, if I'm in a relationship, I'm in a marriage with somebody, and then she eventually falls off from what we had agreed to as far as our relationship. I do have a right to leave. I'm not saying, no, we never said, you don't have a right. All we're saying is, again, when we talk about the movie, the acrimony, acrimony, right? Bro, we're saying that like, yo, he has his fucks ups too, right? Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, he's working hard to become Whoever he's whatever he's trying to become, right? At the end of the day, she's putting money behind this nigga. She's she putting, I mean, her house up, 
It's so many things that okay. he's sacrificing for this nigga, for his dream to come true, right? But at the end of the day, at, at, at some point, it's like, yo, I can't keep sacrificing and putting my life on the line for you. And as a creative who believe in yourself, it's like, you know what? I love you, but I gotta, but I up. gotta, I gotta walk but away. But also, what you so saying, he money, it, money, time, and all that, that still makes her an investor. So as far as our relationship go, yeah, I'm gonna separate, but I'll always honor my arrangement. Oh no, he whatever. came back. But what I'm saying is, he no, he came back and he gave her like a couple million, I think. But again, you said that you can't be mad at her, and I'm like, yo, emotion. That's a, that's a regular, that's a irregular, that's a regular feeling, right? So mm. if you see somebody that she was with for five years mm -hmm. and it was never working, and then on the sixth year it worked. It's a normal feeling to be like, what the fuck? I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you gotta act on it, but that's a normal feel. We can't say that she yeah, yeah. can't feel that way. And, and, and women should definitely understand. Um, you gotta understand a woman's place on that. I mean, I feel bad if that was to happen. Come definitely. on, definitely. No, Start I understand. The woman it, bro. whisperer, please bring us in today, bro. I'm being real. Like, I'm with you on that. I'm just saying, like you, you I've been with somebody like, like, All right, so I can't tell jokes now, yo. What's going on with this podcast, bro? Yo. I can't have no jokes. I can't say nothing. Nah, you, no, like, you just, you just, you feel, you, you sound woman entitled. Whisperer. You like, sound you, entitled. Nah, it's not women whispers, but I you am just entitled. Said, we, we but I'm saying why, you, like, you've only spoke on things that you need what she has to do, but you have not really spoke on like what, what if you fall off what if you you're a creative you're not gonna be on top of all your shit yeah, she yeah. not leave your ass we know what the reality is if i fall off and i'm not doing what i'm doing shorty is out there is two thousand million the, other she's not out though Most i ain't gonna lie to you though i ain't gonna lie to you bro and i and i said i'm and i stamped this shit and, and maybe it's still ignorant i'm still young bro i ain't falling off bro by, by the grace of god if it's not nothing that's, that i got to do with my health bro i told my shorty this and i mean this for a fact i'm never gonna fall off to the point where I can't take care of my part because I will go work at McDonald's. That's I'm, a fact. I'm a, bro, I'm gonna go fucking shovel some fucking snow and sweep some porches before yep. I don't bring nothing to the table. You get what I'm saying? That's a fact. So like, that's just my, where I stand with it. But to say like, what he's saying is bro, like we can't continue to expect, expect, expect and not expect to give. I'm never said that at all. All I think I'm saying is I'm I was only speaking of the analogy of the gentleman that has the storyline of yo he's trying to develop something, and it hits at a certain point, but she leaves before it gets to that point. That's well, the we only gotta thing respect. I'm saying. We, we gotta respect her threshold, just like you said when we we talking about it, you said I don't have a problem with respecting her threshold. However, I don't if if I'm the person in that space and she left. I respect that you have a threshold and cool, and I'm gonna pay you out when shit hits. But I don't need to be sympathetic or empathetic to it at all. I don't oh, need to be, be like, oh, bro. poor baby, like you could have been around. Nah, nigga, you chose to leave. Here it is. Me and Shorty gonna live it up. Here's your bread for investing. Hey, and I appreciate you for that. And I respect you for that. You'll always have a special place in my heart. I will always answer the phone when you call. I will always back you, whatever play you want to do. But you chose to be over there. Be over there. If that's a layout, I'm not mad at that either. But you can't, I ain't gonna lie, you can't <laughs> always back her because, bro, that's your ex. That you can't. I understand. I'm talking about business. We're not talking about personal. We talking about business. Like nice yeah, because I'm asking like, 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 like it ain't gonna go like that. Because the new the new chick you with ain't gonna rock with that. Like why are you still giving first of all the money? You, you giving the first amount of money to it. The new bitch gonna be like, uh. Yeah. And, and this is what you say. Hey, Shorty was here when I ain't had shit, and she held it down and put the bread up. The, the only thing I could do is the least. Show I can do. The, the least I can do is show that same respect. But you said always. You said always. Though. You said always. You said the first time. You said always. Once again, and. This is where hard conversations happen in my relationship, is that loyalty will always be respected in my house. Even if, it's, even if it was somebody I was in love with, if we break up, as long as there was respect and loyalty there, it's always gonna be on my side. Now, you're not gonna be able to live in my house and you know take advantage of what's in my refrigerator, but at the same time, nigga, I the answer the phone and I make sure you good, bro. I'm not gonna let nobody lip. put hands on mm. you and do some dumb shit. I wanted to ask a question, bro. Um, This is a major segue, right? We was talking about that, like this entrepreneur shit, um, creative shit. I want to talk. I think we talked about it before. Me and Alex was having like that the conversation with the goat gene, right? We talked about this earlier. I was gonna segue before you did, but you got to it before I could. Go my, ahead. My bad. Thing. No, you good. Yo, what's up with like stars and Jay, right? Like, I feel like we always want to be appreciated, but we don't understand that. The greats are never appreciated until they're gone. Almost mm. like where where is it where we're asking for too much? For example, I know I, I might be teetering, I might be going left or whatever. LeBron James lost in the first round of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Everybody is saying he ain't the goat. Who the fuck loses in the first round of playoffs? If you, if you was the goat, you wouldn't lose in the first round of playoffs. Jordan lost in six first round. Right. So, but I feel like, and it's it's like, <laughs> I know he want his appreciate. I know he want to be appreciated as such, right, as the goat. But it's like, bro, they did this to everybody. 
I mean, when, I, he, when, he, when he win, they don't say that. No, nah, yes, they do. Shit. Not Nobody, when he, I don't think, beat, I don't think the Warriors LeBron team. James ever gets his respect. When he, he beat deserves. the Warriors team, that's when he got his respect. It was all shaky until you beat them by, like, the best team, the best record ever, and you beat that team seven games. So I say that, say, do you, do, you, do you feel like you be wanting your roses? Like, do you feel like it be sometimes where you, you kind of need it almost? Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm a, I think any artist in the level I'm at is detrimental to, to make sure you have flowers. I feel like, um, you, I get them. I get them at times. I get, I, I, a lot of times I'm out, a lot of people walk to me and just, wow, I've been so happy. Especially niggas. I, I really appreciate when niggas come up to me. Yeah, it's different, come, yeah. Man, it's different, man. It's different. Girls, it's cool to be supporting you. Oh, but they girls, you know, yeah, yeah. But when a nigga be like, hey, yo, I just want to let you, you know, You put bro, a fry like, to the side. Yeah, put it, like, take a lot. I understand for a nigga, I'm a nigga, so I take a lot for me to walk up to a motherfucker, let alone come up there and, and give you some positive feedback and not knowing how you're going to react because your niggas want to play like they cool and, you know what I mean, badasses. But to be so humble and do that shit, that take a lot. So those moments, I really appreciate for what they are. Now, I've been up, I've been down. I know if I do something crazy, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of people with flowers. And if I don't do nothing for a while, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna be flowerless. So it's like consistency and, you know, just being behind your brand. And like you, you worried about getting new cameras. Like you always trying to build always, your pod. You're trying to up. So it's like, you're trying to stay consistent level up, yeah. and level up. So you're gonna always have an opportunity to receive flowers. But, but, but you see, we, you said we are gonna always have, and I wanted to ask you too, we're gonna always have opportunity to receive your flowers, but when you don't receive them, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I did all that. I bought new cameras. I'm staying up to date with my shit. I'm making sure my shit looks just like the professionals, et cetera, et cetera, but niggas still complaining, mm -hmm. right? I charge to the game. Yeah. I was gonna ask, do you feel like you need no, yours? Oh, that's lit. Um, niggas say, yo, that's lit, you drunk. No, I'm saying, no. The, what I was <laughs> about to say is, is that I respect stars for that. But just being able to let it roll off yeah, his back. Because everybody can't just, do that. Yeah, a lot of niggas. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. No, I've been doing it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, to, because he's, he's had moments where it's like the album is that good and he just be like, all right, y'all ain't y'all ain't hearing me. Wait till the next one. Yeah, but it takes a certain I, type of man. I to think do that. as creatives, bro, or not even just creative, like, you know, people that are really good in that space, I think we got to start studying. I'm mm. not going to lie. Reading. I, I, say, I say start studying because the moment I started studying was the moment I noticed that, bro, we talking about flowers now, but niggas never got their flowers. Mm. Bro, Madonna is, Ma Madonna, right? She is Smoothies. the innovative behind giving women a voice that, 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 that want to do what they want to do, say what they want to say, right? Normalizing she, sexuality, open, open sexuality. She and guess what? It. She got crucified in those Facts. moments. But guess what? Now, people love Madonna. Who yeah. else? I'm, I can't really speak Marilyn on Jordan. Marilyn Monroe, if you want to talk about women. Yeah, like, bro, when it, like, uh, fucking, um, Dennis Rock, like, it's so many greats, like, Richard Pryor, right? I'm, like, people killed him because he cursed so much or something mm -hmm. like that, right? Now people say he's the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube, when he first mm -hmm. went into the, 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 the acting, the, the role mm -hmm. of doing Family, right? They killed him for that. He's one of the greatest of all time. He needs his flowers. So I, if we do more research, we, will, we, we won't expect or we won't be entitled to get our flowers because we see that that's just the way of the game and you got to charge it to the, the game. game. See, like I, I hear everything you're saying, but the thing that makes it difficult, and this is something I can't, it's one other thing I want to bring in stars is like, how do you look in the mirror and, 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 and be okay? Mm. Because mm. like, I'm, I'm literally dealing with young people now that I know they great, like they really create, but You've always had since I met you. I know you for over ten years, bro. Mm -hmm. Your ego bigger than fucking Baltimore City, <laughs> my nigga. You got a big, big <laughs> ego. You have big confidence, mm -hmm. more so. How are you able to maintain all of that confidence and all that bravado, and and put out as much great work as you put out, whether it was creating music or even videos, and it not I be. I compare. Embraced. I compare. I compare. Man, I compare my my my, my training. If I see training. For all these years, you look at it as just consistent work. No, I've been training for something mm. bigger and better, whatever it is. Um, but it's like Kobe, man. It's like, you know what I mean? Like he was in the gym every day. Yeah. You know, Kobe was working every day. Yeah. Like, like he didn't, he, he knew what he had to do. He won a championship of bus every year. Yeah, he could drop 50, he had an 80 game. He can fuck about that. I mean, he, do his, he, make, he makes baskets in his sleep. Mm. Like I make records, my, I, I do my thing in my sleep. I know I'm good. When you have an understanding that you know you're good, you shit, don't need no You don't need nobody for real. <laughs> but, because mm. the work always speaks. I I, I, anything I've ever posted song-wise, I ain't never seen no comment like the shit trash mm. or like whack. It's like, 
I it's gotta crazy. make sure to do that. It's I crazy. Gotta, it's gotta, crazy. trash on my comments. Okay, it's, it's crazy that you say that because, like, you know, like, and sometimes I be thinking, like, the, what I be saying comes off cocky, and I don't mean no harm, but like, when I do my interviews and things like that, when I put out my content, and people be like, "Yo, this shit is crazy," or even when when people pull up as a guest, they be like, "Yo, this is real deal." Like. For me, it's expected because that's mm -hmm. what I do it. Like I, I put my all into it. So you can say so that. to get anything less than this is crazy. Good, yeah, you feel uh, me? It's like that's a that's an insult. That's you know what I'm saying? Insult. So it's like it's like yo. It's definitely it's yeah. definitely crazy how that works. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like to get anything to get anything other than that is like. What did you expect? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not on no cocky shit. So I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, bro, I know. That's in any, that's in any, but you know, that's in anything. You know what I mean? I want people to understand. I know we talk about me and our uh, personal, but I want to also say, like, in anything that you're doing, any woman or man watching this, like, you have to be incredibly confident and creative. And I mean in the creative in this industry. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, you want your partners, you want everybody else. Yeah, you want you want your flowers, you want somebody to pat you on the back, but you gotta pat yourself you, on the yeah, back. Yeah, you give yourself your flowers putting in the work, the work on a the work on a talk shit. for itself. Listen, when you putting in this work, bro, it's different. When you putting in this work, the work is gonna show for itself and it's gonna give your work is gonna give you your flowers. I know it sounds crazy. We talk about Kobe, right? Mm, like yeah, Kobe, Kobe don't have to say he don't have to say nothing about mama mentality because mama mentality is gonna speak for itself, period. It's consistent. And, and I think that's what it is. Okay, so let me, when it was the first time that you knew you was fucking dope and how, like, just trying to describe that moment. When was the first time you knew, like, oh, I'm that nigga? When Trash Bags got on the radio. That was the moment? Yeah, because I wait, mean, before wait a minute. That, because that before, was the record that, get, that, that put it over the that's top. That's a long ass time ago. It was, but it also was the first time I had something happen. Like, I ain't never been already before. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, you know, those little- It was like a validation. Validation. Like, I know I'm good. That's like when you was doing uh, the, the freestyles and then one place and then you got on the log room. It's like, oh shit. Nah, Somebody facts. sees I ain't I'm lie, really good I, at what I do. When I did it, but this is what I wanted to talk about, right? Because yeah, we can say it shows for itself, but we can't ignore like LeBron James, right? It's still so many people that's, that's trying to doubt his greatness, right? Mm -hmm. That's real, real life story. So I did the, um, I left the company and my first million views was on uh, my own platform. I'm like, that's dope. Still had people saying, I mean, if he ain't had, if, if, that's shorty, shorty. If it wasn't shorty, shorty, you wouldn't have got a million views, you know? right? Then I came back, did the million views with the uh, uh, two million on Twitter with um, with uh, the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Mm -hmm. Of course, people saying, if it wasn't for uh, shorty, Jazz, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have got a million views, right? right then right. we came back, did the million views with just us, right? Nigga saying, Donnie, it wasn't for Donnie, Donnie then it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we can't ignore the fact that, and even before all of that, I forgot about this. We did a million views on some fraternity shit, doing neck rolls or whatever. I did that on Twitter, right? So it's like, granted, yeah, the work won't speak for itself, but where do you go when it's like, yo, my work is speaking for, for itself and y'all still trying to deny me? That's where LeBron James is at. That's what I wanted. That's, that's, that's what LeBron And that's like, at. yo, we can say- it's like, I, did he have to, I have to get six rings? Like, <laughs> I gotta get six rings to be compared to Joy? Like, no, you don't have to get six rings. So, but in no. that moment though, when you feel like people, do you ever feel like people are taken away from your shine? And like, how do you deal with that? We just charge to the game. It's a lot of charges to the game. It's, <laughs> it's a lot but of charges. No, it's definitely, it definitely is because, man, if you like that shit, I mean, you know, we all let this shit get bother us. Mm. We all have let this shit bother us at some point. But we have to understand, you're not the only person doing what you do. Mm. Like, why you sleeping? That's why niggas say, why you sleeping? A nigga working. That's the fact. Like, I'm not giving you eight hours of my sleep. I'm gonna get five or six. Five, six, maybe. But mm. I gotta get up because I got shit to do. Niggas is out here eating, bro. Mm -hmm. Like for real. And, and 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 you know, all this relationship and the confident creatives have to stand on their own and really figure this shit out. Cause no matter if your partner, your kids, you know what I mean, people who looking up, if you don't keep going, if you don't perform, it's you a, a dub. It, it's a dub, period. Like all that other is, shit is cool, but if it you don't perform, it's a rap. Is adulation and love. Do you need it though? Like, can you live your life? Could the two of you of live the rest you of your it. life without yeah. without being praised? You need it. I, I need it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna I don't wanna do this shit if niggas don't know I'm you nice. You feel me? It. Like we do it for <laughs> let's let's not let's let's not let's not let's not cap. I said this before. I feel like everybody who does Instagram or anything when it comes to being on a camera, do it for validation. No matter how we put it, a lot of niggas wanna fact. say, I don't need the validation. Yes, you do. Because if your video don't do one hundred thousand or fifty or whatever the case may be, then you're gonna feel discouraged. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? You're gonna be upset. You do it for the numbers. Granted, yeah, we want to get paid from the numbers, but at the end of the day, you want to feel acknowledged for what you're doing. Mm. Because if you don't feel acknowledged for what you're doing, then it's like, why the fuck you doing it? Mm. You want to touch other people. Pause. You want to you want to make people feel motivated. You want to do that. And if you don't, if you don't feel that, it's like, what am I here for? 
<laughs> mm. you're, you're 100 correct. I just feel like you know what I mean. We gotta understand that's the real of it, and like just understand it. But you know, just getting back to the whole relationship thing, and um, you know, just understanding the creative vibe. Yeah. Just to close out on that topic, you know what I mean? It's just like, ladies, man, don't date a creative. Don't date a creative unless you understand it's a bunch of shit with us. And, Thanks. and to the ladies that's dating creatives. Ho, oh, hang in there, sis. <laughs> <laughs> cool to you. And can we add in the fact that creators are crazy naturally? Can, are you willing to admit that you fucking? Yeah, wrong? I'm sick. Yeah, I'm but that's why we saying don't date a creative. Yeah. No, 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 no. Y'all said that might be the name of, of the podcast. No, no, y'all like, said a whole bunch of technical a... nice stuff, but no, I'm no, saying we did it. I want you don't, to say like y'all bonkers. Second y'all guess me. Something wrong, bro. With y'all. We literally said screws loose. No, because you changed the narrative. Like I don't know what's going on now because it was because when we said don't credit. They you, he was like, like yo, we're the best. We live. We know. We live. You guys are really I'm good people. Not like, <laughs> yo, no, but I'm a shitty ass but person with creative We can involved. agree that crazy bitches got the best pussy. So, like, you know what I mean? It is what it is. So, you a crazy nigga. You a crazy nigga. But wait, so you saying because I'm no, I didn't say that, Stacey. Like, you about to go? Whoa, you about to go out to the? Are you okay? I don't know what you do on your private. I don't know what you do behind closed doors. What that do me? Look, I'm not getting into no sex discussions with you about what you do with your penis. I said crazy chicks got the best pussy. So what the hell to do anything? You a crazy nigga. And he got yes. the best what, yo? Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck is My going God. on? A fucking, yo, My we got to close out. Yo, y'all niggas really might not like this pod. Yo, what y'all the might fuck? not like this pod. Yo, yo crazy. You, I don't like this pod at this you point. Take, you take it in a place no, you don't need to go. T- Whoa, where am you I taking it? You don't need to go. I was just making a Man, statement. You went R- yo, you went R&B playlist for no reason, Where am I taking it? The nigga said, no, you gotta, I don't want to talk. He said, you got to understand that crazy. Just like it worse than what it is. You make oh, it you did, it did, it did. But well, I say this. Yes, you're right. Just say pause, Thank bro. You. you say pause. pause. Yeah. Right. But crazy, look, I'm a crazy women thing. Like, let's stop, let's stop that narrative too. Like, what? Like well, women aren't crazy. Like the word crazy with women. Certain like, women. I mean, no, 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 no. no. Crazy nah, women. I ain't stopping it because what makes them crazy? What do you mean? Because they care. What do you mean? Everything. Man, what every crazy about? girl, every crazy girl. Don't try to this. You want to go viral? We want like dark. No, I keep trying. Because we ain't ladies. He's a woman whisperer. Every episode he come on here, he he trying to get them chicks in. Don't start that shit. Be like yo. Why you crazy? Go ahead, pander. Because he know pandering. You must got a lot. He must must got a lot of girls. Hey man, I get a hundred followers every time you post me. Hey ladies, check this out. Um. You know I like you crazy. more than them. This you is stars. Care a lot. Yo, don't care listen a lot. to I them. Care, I care I'm a lot nice too. guy. No, no, He's no. a dickhead. This, 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 this is what I used to say. You ain't cr- listen. I'm not crazy. I'm passionate. Oh, your bitches love the word passionate. <laughs> a bitch will tell you she's passionate. No, you're not. You're crazy, bitch. You got you got a knife in your hand. <laughs> what passion is this? <laughs> crazy. Passion to kill your motherfucking right. ass. <laughs> you ever got stabbed before, Jay? Nah, bro. I'll be in Yo, jail. Yo, Jay, act like his life is so like it's so cool, mediocre smooth ass, ass, smooth ass life. Like no, what we talking about, man? I'm Ain't arguments, is, is arguments. That I'm prone to violence. Yeah. My car better than Don't yours. Take it there unless you want me to. No, go no, no, no. I'm gonna go there. Okay. No, 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 Jay, no, no, kill no, a bitch. No, 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 My no, bad. Jay, kill a bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask me whatever you want to ask me, and I'm gonna give you an honest answer. Why oh, ask you shit? Make sure that camera on him and him only. I will say on camera whatever the fuck you you want to fucking go there with me. I will fucking go there with you, bro. If you want to stab me, that means I can stab you as many times as I want to. You cross the line with me, I'm crossing the line with you. Let's what do the fuck this. you talking about right okay, now? Okay, so I'm just saying. I was about, hey, to, I was about right, to, cool. I was about to talk about your outfit. That's all I was about to say. I'm gonna just agree with you saying you crazy because I, I believe you. So I was gonna say, what's the nigga name? Um, Crowder. What the fuck is that nigga Ooh, name on House of, House of Athlete? The light skin nigga with the dreads, man. Somebody help me out. Channing Crowder, bro. You remind me of him, bro. The bro, the, the, the wardrobe, bro. We could be like, this. If we talk about anything else. Am I lying, bro? Anybody watch House of Athlete? Well, you, 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 you don't know. You watch House of Athlete, okay. it's gonna be your favorite part. Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this podcast I need to be a rapper. is disgusting. Like, nah, nah. When you y'all, might not, y'all might not like this, bro. When you watch you niggas, House of Athlete, bro. I hate you niggas, you go, I am athlete, I said house. I am athlete. I hate you niggas. This First of all, you just told no, every woman in the world, last... if you try to hurt me, I'm going to no, kill you. No, fuck that, no, no, fuck that, he came back. He came back because last week he was like, my car better than yours. Oh yeah, he was real aggressive about but that. But your outfit not. So when you came, like that's, when you came, <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you came, listen, listen, listen. Nah, he fuck? ain't gonna forget. I, <laughs> he said that about a car, right? And I gave you, I gave you a props, no? Yo, Did please I give you props? keep it locked to Instagram because we are going to have a car off. Hey, yo, yeah, a car but off. I gave, but I gave, when he said it, that nah, I Nah, nigga, I ain't gonna have to come back and just say what you oh, just nah, said. Oh, nah, fuck that. Nah, 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 fuck that. We, what, you I don't even you. know where the fuck you got your shirt from. What is you talking about? Well, you can't say that because this is uh, oh oh. But you can tell it's me to buy outfit thing, trash. Man, I don't know. Your yeah, outfit talk- trash. Right. You I mean, now, now, now the nigga that gave me the shirt is gonna be like, damn, bro, you didn't give you me a shout out. I can't even tell him. <laughs>
Bro, I, but listen, whoever, I'm sorry, I'm a little intoxicated. My birthday was yesterday. Please bear with me. I got the package. Thank you. But honestly, like, it was free, so they ain't paid me nothing. So, like, either way, I wore it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I wore it. I, I showed them some love. So if we do go, yeah, if I put your shit on, man, don't ask me to say I, something. I paid you. for this shirt. You tell somebody I had my shit, shit on. <laughs> <laughs> Help I would yourself, like that bro. to be said on camera. I bought this before the nigga died. This wasn't the, oh, he died, let me nah, support shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. It's all good. It's but all nah, good, man, man. y'all might not like this pie. 002, it should be like 0706. This is like uh, episode 71. It's um, not 71. We, we merged together. I don't know what you keep it, talking about. We didn't merge together. Because um, I got some shit for y'all with the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Y'all don't even know. Free show day. coming out. Is that? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got some I shit coming every episode. Let's go. Now we That's not, bro, we don't have to say that. Are we done? Are no, we, I'm saying you, I'm saying you don't have to say free Sade because it's our be, shit. Oh be yeah, excited. we not on here. Okay. <laughs> Look, leave, leave Sade locked up. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> y'all might not like this pod, man. That's it. Y'all might not like this pod, 002, man. Oh, um, make sure y'all holla up. Um, I'm doing don't do that, bro, because I don't Come know. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, they gonna be like, you ain't say the name. I ain't giving. I ain't, ain't give even him. get us niggas no hoodies. Niggas. He come in here with one hoodie with his so. I'm worried about what the fuck. I got to bring us no hoodies. Bro, bro, I can't be fresh every Sunday. Nah, 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 you nah. niggas gotta figure it out. Yo, nah, nah Jay, Jay, Jay. Yo, the least you could have did is one hey, and two. Hey Jay, like. hey Jay, far as we know, one and two. What the fuck? You just locked me out. Man, that's crazy. I said one and two. What you so, 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 so this saying, is my first bro. episode wearing merch, and bro. now y'all nah, niggas nah, going nah, crazy. Nah, Cause far as we know, niggas were not wearing merch before. This man could have got a bag. That's all I'm about to say. I didn't say nothing. Hey Jay, yo, stars, stars, turn around. Cause you understand me. Stars, now we here. How much they give you? How much they give you, stars? Hey, for all we know, that nigga gave you some money. Who gave me and you ain't even break for it. Mm -hmm. For all we know, he gave you some money and a hoodie. Mm -hmm. And he gave me a free hoodie, bro. Wow. He gave me a free hoodie, bro. And I just, I'm really just, this is a trial and error of me trying to get oh, free we know shit. He's and y'all fucking free. it up for real. Oh yeah, no more white tees anyway. No, 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 no. So what I will say is, yo, shout out to everybody. everybody. <laughs> shout out to everybody that, 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 that gave us the merch and shit. We appreciate you. Yeah, all of um, us. Y'all might not like this pod. I noticed how one got a shout free out shirt, to one got shout a free shirt, and I had to buy mine. <laughs> This is some fucked up shit on this box. Oh, that's, that's why. That, I, you know, I and Jay said you still not fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 still not fresh. Like, damn. Y'all might not like this part. That shit crazy. Nigga. Yo, you my nigga. You said I ain't say that. I ain't say that. But you was thinking it. Y'all might not like this part. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two. Episode two, man. We all.